very much a stereotypical printing business. Um, the trade was still very much deeming itself as a printing industry instead of a manufacturing industry. And uh, real realistically, I saw an opportunity to really get ahead of the market with what was going to go ahead with pricing. And as print has been more and more commoditized over the years, you know, we really had to ensure that we focus on our core strengths. And our core strengths were built around manufacturing certain products. So we produce 7,000 orders a year, and in theory, that's 7,000 bespoke jobs. But if you simplify the process, what we call pre-production and post-production, then you can actually just treat those 7,000 orders as if it's one, so you batch manufacture. I don't see how you can't control what comes into your business. So for us, we only do certain things on certain days of the week. Spot colour work only gets printed on two days of the week. A4s and A5s get produced at certain times of the day. Our most profitable part of our business is pre-press, and that has been purely driven by what we've done on the rule-based automation side. The printing system, to me, if you look, if you look at our, our, our USP, and I'm talking about USP for us about how we still generate margin through the business, that delivers everything on every platform for us. You know, we have a locked-in system from our rule-based automation within the MIS, that we have the same standardised grip and lay, the same components for when we do an 8-page fold or a 16-page fold. We're taking away any decision-making that a lot of, um, of our competitors still undertake. We took all of the intelligence in this business and ensured that Printergy could deliver that for us. And one of the great things about Printergy is actually its robustness and flexibility of evolving that catalogue of folding. And then again, another fantastic feature for us is it never stands still. You know, we've went through several upgrades since we initially done the install um, a couple of years ago. So for us, Printergy is the platform of the business. Printergy gives me the confidence to ensure that we've got that, that available capacity all the time to say yes to the client for the right work coming through. But the one real thing that surprised us and took us to the next level was Insight. There was a lot of initial apprehension about using it and actually what the benefit is. Our pitch has always been that we can sustain the pricing level if you do this upstream activity for us. Taking everything away from us, taking responsibility from the initial file. We're quite specific about how our files have to be submitted and what that generates. And again, it gives the client instant feedback from a proofing perspective. So from, you know, from our, our pitch into a client is we give you a fantastic price and you get an instant proof why wouldn't you want to use it? Print is historically very mundane in terms of getting approvals to press and what we actually evaluated is that within a life cycle of a job, proofing can take up 65% of that, that cycle. With, with us now, we're down to less than five, six percent. So it gives us that continuity of actually work going through the business. When you get into shorter run work, you, you obviously, through our MIS, we have a certain set of charge rates. Those charge rates ensure that we have a fully you know, a fully allowed make ready for every component of that job. And to give an example, on a, on, a, on a B2 press, we allow 15 minute make ready, but we make ready in four minutes. If I do 400 of, the, of those a week, you start to see where the margin comes back into the business. Every time we make a plate, and if I was to fill our plate set like I did a printing press, we generate more revenue per hour than the other 13 machines put together. So our focus is on making plates. The Magnus has been a fantastic installation for us. Uh, we've we recently had broken our 24-hour period for plate production. We've just produced 1,016 last week in one given period and broke our overall plate record in a week, which was 3,100 for Kodak plates. Kodak earned our trust on several levels. They really understood what we were trying to deliver. You know, the concept of RBA and actually integrating MISs and workflows, they had already started to obviously do from an R&D perspective. But they knew what we were talking about. The other guys didn't. The other guys thought we were talking about things that were 10, 12 years away, not one, two, three years away. But they always kept belief of what we were trying to deliver. And what I love about Kodak currently is that the, the way that they're trying to look, the, look ahead of their competition and actually start to look at how you evolve your business. Not so much about the today and the tomorrow, but what actually comes after that. I can hand on heart say that we haven't made that move with Kodak. We'd be just about breaking even as a business now instead of returning 5 or 6% profit each year.